Okay, so I'm on this big trip, right? And I've been carrying around this rear tripod on the bike. And it's worked pretty well, but I've always been kind of curious if I could do a front tripod well, even like as an experience. And so I got the opportunity to try that here. And in a previous, the previous video to this one, I actually introduced it, you know, in video form. But I just wanted to give you a context of why this particular video is special to me. Aha! All right. Will I spear anybody with this thing? Ugh. All right. Hello. Xin chào, hello. Come on, Craig. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, Westlake. Back soon. Come on. All right. Let's give this a shot. I got a. I got a plan in mind. Let's just go up to the West Lake, the best lake. Because it's four o'clock already. And I don't want to get no wrecks and it's just a few turns and then there's no through traffic so good oh shit it's not crap it's not tight hang on a second ah innovation ain't easy Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah. All right. Okay. I know it's four o'clock. I told you things were cooling off. I can swear people are staying home a lot more now. At least that's what I perceive. Okay, all right. It's like this. It's a little lower down this time, isn't it? Yeah. We go like this a little ways, and then it's one uh, one right turn over there. You know, it's like Legos. For grown-ups, you know, like you can, uh, you have an idea of some capability or mechanical phenomenon or something, and then you can finally give it a try and see what happens. And uh, that's where we are here. Fortunately, this is a low-speed town. And people are, people are riding on bikes with way more dangerous stuff than this, like, you know, long metal pipes and sheets of glass and refrigerators and everything. So people aren't quite as phased by a funny, weird, dangerous load on someone's bicycle. It's, uh, no, it's not red yet. Keep going, Craig. All right. So anyway. Like I said, the weather is... Oh, shit, that was the turn. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll uh, do this one. It is lighter traffic. Perhaps you'll remember, I do, when it was just apocalyptic. You could just walk on people's heads out here faster than you could actually 
travel on wheels. It was, it was ridiculous. Man. Oh, black and pink themed as well. No, we match. Let's see here. Okay. Wow, I haven't been on this thing in weeks. Isn't that crazy? I haven't. My mind's loosened up a bit to try old things that are familiar to me. Here we go. Here's a good right turn. I'm starting to know my way around, just a little. Because there ain't no grid here. You can tell people have been building out a civilization here in Hanoi for thousands of years. It's, uh, don't let all the cars and motorbikes and electricity fool you. This has been, um, people have been doing civilized stuff here for dang ever. For dang ever. Okay, all right. Where are we again, answer box? Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Man, everything's easier from the vehicle out here. Why am I surprised? Finally in the, the standard mode of movement and existence. Okay, here comes the right. Okay, gotcha. See, oh, Ho Chi Minh statues, nothing but. It's like, Okay, so this is a furniture district. Okay, furniture. All right. You got guys making furniture, guys next door selling furniture. Ain't no Ikea out here. And then, uh, like, down the street to the left and to the right will be where they're selling the wood. And down that street is where they're selling the metal. And then down that street is where they're welding the metal. It's all... I'm still trying to get my head around it. I think it has to do with low trust society like you don't believe what anyone says about what they have or what they can do or what they will do excuse me sorry rather you have to go get in their faces and see for yourself you don't call on the phone and ask you go there and you see for yourself show don't tell right show don't tell and uh i think that's what most of these folks are doing they're out here showing and not telling and being shown and not being told now, I've been living like a badger, you know, since I can't speak the same language as anyone. So I've had no choice but to be shown and not told because I can't even ask questions over the phone. And you gotta, and also, man, you gotta ask questions perfectly. Like, I'm looking for band-aids, right? There's that normal kind of band-aid with the, uh, that light brown paper stuff. And I'm allergic to those, it turns out. I learned this in South Africa. It's a near disastrous uh, 
infection effect. It was terrible. And so uh, that's all they have here. And so I'm walking around and I'm asking for bandages by making a little motion of like cutting myself and going, ow, ow, and then putting something on it. Ah. They say, oh yeah, bandages, right, right, right. But they say that in Vietnamese, you know, and I say, yeah, because what else am I gonna say? And uh, <laughs> they bring out the same kind of thing I'm too. So now what do I do, right? If I, how, I don't know how to say well, yeah, like this, but different. Like, I, I can get out the, the answer box and, and write white plastic, kind, but how does kind translate? Type? Type? How does type translate on answer box? You see what I'm saying? I don't even know. Because I translate it back into English and it says type. <laughs> so, it's, it's like, once again, they have it or they don't. It's yes, have, or no, no. And so, what doesn't happen, maybe it would if I could have a, a more interesting conversation with people, but I'm just not able to do that. All right, good. Is, oh, we don't have that, but how about this? Or, well, maybe over there, but it never seems to happen. It's like, no, no. And it's never followed with, well, what about this? Or maybe over there, turn left, never happens. And so I have to perfectly ask for what I want. I have to learn how to do that. Uh, and I don't know how to do that, of course. And so I have to act like a toddler, you know, where I'm like, get it in my hand, get it, get it, because the grown ups don't understand me when I just yelp and squawk. It's frustrating for me and for them. So that's why, yeah, I've got a crush on Oksana over at the Russian embassy because one, she speaks English and also I can go over there and I can, I can have a problem or a question and I can, I can have like a high IQ conversation with her. I can say, what about? And what if? And if this and I did that, then what? I have no idea how to even pretend that kind of stuff in Vietnamese, like without like a good half hour charades session, which can be fun to pull off, but only, you know, in the right setting. Yeah. It's where the new stuff is, so I imagine this is where some of the Christmas bombings took place. Nice big square modern post-1975 architecture. Got the latte the lot L O T T E. It's a. It's like the. The Korean Macy's and McDonald's at the same time. I've got their mall over there. Nice big. Cut and paste. Apartments and stuff. Ah. Oh. Oh, and there's stoplights. Stoplights. So you know. Straight, oh yeah, and straight wide streets with stoplights and modern architecture and a nice highway. Yeah, this is this, this ain't no accident. It took a lot of explosive of one kind or another, whether from below or above, to uh, make this even possible in this town, trust me. not going to Son Loi, Plague Town, Vietnam, even though it is just right over there. 
could dial up on answer box right now. Mm. Mm -mm. As in a previous video, uh, half of all the Vietnamese casers are in this one little fishing, fishing, well, farming village, just 25 or so miles that way, which is, of course, very alarming. And they have, uh, the authorities came and have boxed in a whole region of 10,000 people. Which in Vietnam, 10,000 people put into a pretty small space, even with the farmers. But still. But still. It's a thing. It's a big thing. So far, so good, I think. Yeah, this is working out. I can see where I'm going, you know. smile, you know, red light, they go anyway. <laughs> hey, she's <laughs> out. I'm riding here, all right. Middle 60s or middle 20s out, very, very nice. Sunshine, which is, guys right on the wrong side, drives me crazy. The one thing that Vietnamese are pretty good at is they drive on the correct side of the road. So when you get right across the street, you can look in the direction you expect and almost always get it right. Notice he was honking his horn a lot. At least he had that courtesy. But man, there's nothing that makes me just nothing that brings out the expletives like. <laughs> oh, God. Walking out, stepping across the street, and all of a sudden, wham! Getting almost hit from the other direction from where I'm looking. It takes it out of you. Boy, it's a big town. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Just how big Hanoi is. I keep forgetting. It's nine million Vietnamese is still a lot more than Indiana. Think about that. I keep forgetting they're all on the road at the same time. I keep forgetting. All right, let's see. Yeah, just, you know, just sail on out. Nobody waits, just... See, guys, you know, I'm sorry. No one likes the foreigner that bitches about someone else's country, but... It's like... Here's what never happens. Someone right across the street, someone in the car says, oh, it slows down and lets them cross. Never, no matter, it's like there's no stopping for someone else. There's no, none of that. There's someone like you're walking on the sidewalk and someone pulls up right in front of you and stops. And you're like, you ass, I'm walking here. There's, there's no, I'm walking here in Hanoi, none whatsoever. It's, uh, it's kind of amazing. I was at the, there's a bike shop close by here when I was buying those bike boxes I just got. Ah, here we are. Let's center up the camera so you see a little more. A little more action.
not just water. Yeah, all right. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I, what was I doing? I was, uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. So this is a pretty narrow street, you see. It's really, well, two lanes, but, and so there's all, but, and I was waiting, right, it's right outside here, right out here, the uh, bike shop where I was, snatching up boxes, and here comes home, this big black BMW, just creeping along with like a hundred people bunched up behind him in cars and motorbikes and stuff. And he's just do 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 do. Like what you never see here is people like driving slow or doing some fancy maneuver and going, uh oh, never, never. No one's ever going, uh oh, I'm, is someone coming? Am I in somebody's way? It, <laughs> it's uh, it affects me. It affects me. If it's back home, that would be like electric chair rudeness. And to me, it still is, but I'm the only one who feels like that. So, I'm not getting like confirmation or any kind of like, oh yes, yeah, so oh great, your feelings are justified. I feel the same way. No, no, never. That's not happening out here at all. And uh, that really, oh God, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those Wes Anderson, am I being screwed with right now? Is this all a practical joke on me? Nope, Craig, no it's not. This is normal here. Really, Craig, this is normal here. And you got to understand that. Okay, there's West Lake, that's the biggest lake here. This is where all the fancy places are. If you're in the know, if you're one of the cool kids, you've got a condo or apartment or a cardboard box or whatever you got to do to be near the Westlake. This is the, this is the circuit, the circuit of luxury out here. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Uh, Ray the Australian's place was somewhere around here. And I can see why because he didn't have to be close to a 3D printing place. And you know, I tell myself, I'll just finish up my 3D printing and move out here too. Like hell, you're gonna finish up your 3D printing, Greg. You're gonna finish up your 3D printing when the, when the plane takes off from the ground. That's when you're gonna be done with the 3D printing. It's like, it's silly. It's like I'm an alcoholic and I'm living across the street from the one bar in a thousand miles, you know. Where am I going to go? Imagine leaving. That panic sets in. Guys, this is nice though. People drive this just for fun, just for kicks. Because it's uh, no cross traffic. It's, it's, this is luxury driving right here. So this is the lazy boy of motor transport in this town. No one just showing up in front of you. It's a big deal. It's nice. Shit. <laughs> okay. Objects ahead are closer than you think, Craig. Watch it. Can't wait to see this. Can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, chilling at the cafes. Butt strong rocket fuel coffees, one dollar each. Kidding? I, I kid you not. 
Maybe they're a buck and a half if you go to the really fancy joint. In which case, they can have it. Oh yeah, and like, you know, you can switch to beer whenever you want. Uppers and downers. You don't gotta go no place. As long as your laptop battery lasts, it's like, dude, you live there. It's fantastic. Let's see how I feel. The, uh, on the other side of this is that downtowny, that old quarter with all the really interesting stuff. It would also be dangerous to ride the bike here, but maybe, I don't know, it's also so slow. Maybe it'll also be perfect. I'll give it a try. If I freak out, I'll turn around. Drop your litter anywhere, Dad. It's no problem. You know, the camera's kind of skewed. Let me see if I can fix this thing. Let me see if this works. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. Maybe that's better. I don't know. See, old folks got a wave. They got a. No, oh, old folks. No, no, please. After you. No. Nope. Maybe someone will, like, drive around them for courtesy, but really, it messes with your mind. It really does. Okay, we've been here before in the last video, too. A little A-B testing. Yeah. I offered to Ray to uh, make him a, a tripod for his bike. I don't want to say anything else about his plans, but he's got some, which is very exciting. And he, he said no, but I don't know, maybe I can change his mind. I got to get my Vietnam videos together because uh, once I hit Russia, I'm going to forget all about, I mean, I'm just going to be, it's going to be a super adjusto fest all over again, man. My buddy, uh, Special Agent Jerry, when his oldest was just born, she was, Oldest was just what? She was, I don't know, a few months, three, two, three, four months old. Still like baby, baby, walking around in his sweatshirt, baby, you know? And he said to me, Craig, I can't even remember. I can't even remember what my life was like before my oldest was born. I can't even, three, four months ago, he couldn't even remember. Now, I'm not comparing myself exactly, but this, this travel thing, it's like that. It's like a long, constant amnesia. Maybe if I were younger, I'd be able to like catch more of it as it happens. But uh, dude, I'm trying to, I look back at the map, look at all the stops, and I'm like, God, what was that place like? And it comes to me, but there's a reason why I'm making these videos. It's not just for you, it's for me. All right, that. All right, that. Yeah. If I don't put it on YouTube, I'm gonna lose them or break the computer or do whatever. So I kind of have to do it this way. Yeah, it's just working. It's just working. Great. 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 You, man. Guys, we'll go to the ends of the earth to find a place where the teenage girls will smile at them when they see them. That's pretty much it. One of the more profound things I've said all year. 
on video, but that is 100% triple catropal truth. People catching their fishes out here. Yeah. Hanoi is pretty nice, man. I mean, you gotta get the right spot in Hanoi, just like anywhere. But they've got the, they got the people, they got the capabilities, they've got a lot of infrastructural things. Once you know where to get stuff, that's the thing. God. Oh, we're back here again. Oh, shoot, I missed the... <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Let's, let's go through Old Quarter just for kicks. Let's have some fun here. Let's push our luck. Now, where's that again? Oh, excuse me, what? Where the, okay. Fine, all right. So you can see this is where the, the hanging out is, right? Yeah, it's obvious. Those two dragons there are my, that's the one landmark I notice quite yet. Oh yeah, you got the, See this, you know, this is where the mansions and all the nice institutions, girls getting their selfies, you know. You got the, yeah. That's where I get my selfies too. Some fancy offices, you know. Mm, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I'm going for it. Let's go through. Let's go through Old Quarter, see if we survive. <laughs> this tripod, of course, conflicts with my big black bag. It goes on top of the rack here, but I do have a scheme now for a way to get around that. Of course, I would never have thought of it until I put this on the bike. I hadn't even left the house yet. I'm like, wait a minute, Craig, you can do it like this, do it like this, and you could attach it like this so you don't take up space in the, in the bags. Oh, you're right, Craig, that would work. Damn, that's right. And you could do your embedded plywood trick to make it bigger than 100 millimeters. And, oh, God, Craig, you're right. That would work. Ah, oh, damn. But I won't lie to you, I am I'm excited about that. Let's see how this comes out. Also, if I get G4 uh, cell reception, there's another thing I can do with this. Ha ha! Requires the correct cables though, just like anything in life. And those haven't arrived yet, but Buddy Huang is helping a brother out. He's helping me get that together. Thank you, Juan. And uh, that's gonna cost more money, but dude, I am excited about that next trick I might pull. If I am diligent and lucky. So yeah, that's uh, both clockwise and counterclockwise. This is what West Lake, the best lake is all about. Oh, my man, Scully! He's got that long, skinny racing rowboat. That's a way to get away from it all. Oh, there's a whole Scully rowing club over there. That's nice. Yeah. 
a way to get out on the water, get away from all the people without having to drive for an hour? Yeah, those guys are doing it right. That's, that's the ticket. Those guys have got it down. I know the camera's facing the wrong way, but they're right over there. And maybe as I pass by, you'll get a sneaky peeky. Where are we again? Oh, okay. Oh, crap, I'm crossing traffic. Okay, well, let's... I'll just draft my man with all the scrap metal. No one wants any problems. That guy. Here, I'll pass by and you'll see what I mean. Oh, see, you can see. Some trees, I believe, on discount because they weren't needed. They were not bought for the New Year's, which is all over with now. It's kind of like the Christmas tree of Vietnam. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's the lucky thing. That's what he had at all the offices and the malls and everything. But these guys didn't find, didn't get homes. So yeah. And now, ah, oh, jeez, I gotta, okay. Oh God, watch the, oh shit. Okay, excuse me, sorry about the cussing, but. You were too. Mm. All right. Just get in their way, Craig. Make them stop, okay. All right, great. Young toughs out showing, showing they nuts, showing they courage. That's good, that's good. That's what you gotta do, young man. All right. The bike is magical, it really is. 
Just like when you were a kid, you know, the world gets a lot bigger. It's true. It's all true. It never goes away. It's a great thing. It's a great, great thing. The best part is people riding with their dogs. Riding with their doggies. Out on the lake. Pretty funny stuff. That's the jam. That's the song. Every third song is that song out here. It's like uh, when Can't Get No Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones came through. No, I wasn't alive for that. But uh, I talked to someone who was. And he told me that, uh, oh yeah, Craig. There's always one station playing it. And of course, if cars, yeah. And if cars were picking up the song, they'd be playing in perfect unison, wouldn't they? Because it was all coming from the same transmitter. So you've got to explain this stuff to the new kids. They don't understand that. And uh, so if you want to hear the song, you just open up your window and there'd be a car going by playing Can't Get No Satisfaction. It's kind of like that. And then another car would go by, they'd be playing it too. Frankly, when uh, Thriller came out, Off the Wall 2 by Michael Jackson, it was a similar deal. I was there for that. Hosing they clams. Getting ready to go. Okay, here's where I'm about to have some navigational moments. I gotta, gotta get this straight. As long as I break off of this thing, like boom, straight into the slow traffic, I think I'll be okay. I can't do it too early. Gotta stay on target with this thing. All right. Okay. All right. What day is it? Tuesday, okay, it's not even date night. But... Like my man here, that thing is 30 feet long. We've got some ropes, no 3D printed uh, triangulated structures on his rig. Nope. No red flags on it either. I'm telling you, man, these folks live on the edge. There's Velo Chic. And there, oh yeah, there's Lamb Velo. That's the Surly dealer. Looking for the cool kids. Find the Surly dealer, and that's where you're gonna find them. Yeah. Viva la Sur. Right, jeez. Uh, okay. This is fun. This is fun. Craig is happy. What else you got going on, Craig? Nothing. 
with Christian now. But, Craig is happy. Once again, you know, little kids well tended to. Sidewalks, not so much. But, daddies and uncles and walking around with the little kids holding hands so they don't get run over, but they love it. You do it, it's just, you see it all the time. The little kids having a nice time with their grown-ups. Is that the, uh... no, that's not there. Right back this way is the, where the Euro folks hang out, is the, the one vegan buffet in town. I gotta go back there. I gotta go back there. I like that vegan buffet. Yeah. Yeah, Craig, you gotta go to that hardware market. You gotta get a, some chain and a padlock, and you gotta figure out how to lock up the bike in the lobby of the building. So it's not such an ordeal to get it up and down stairs. That's right, Craig, that's what I gotta do. Then it's more, more fluid. None of those, you know, speed bumps in my man. Yeah, that's the that's the trick, man. That's what I gotta do. Yeah, you're right, Craig. That's what I gotta do. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, just just uh just turn on out, Mr. Mercedes. No problem. No, please, after you. Coming up, we're going to go by the uh, monument statue of one of the early National Communist Martyrs. Young fella got himself killed somehow in the 30s, 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 30s. That's when. Ho Chi Minh was still a young guy and he came back from his, you know, socialist entitlement indoctrination back in probably Paris, yeah, post, yeah, post-World War I, Dada era Paris, probably is what it was. Now we can use this. This can be our organizing principle. It's as good as any. And so they set that up. And uh, started rabble rousing. And this is one of the first guys to die. I forget his name, but he's famous, well known, young guy, a teenager, young guy. And he is uh, immortalized up here with a statue. A very prominent place. They got a Lenin triangle square too, but that's kind of. Inland, not as prominent, but closer to the the embassies. Because the Russians would like that. There you go. See. Ah, here we go. Xin chào. Yeah, you know, I'm close to getting one of those 
3D, you know, all directions cameras. That'd be pretty cool, right? You can look at me or not. You can look at where we're going. It'd be all up to you. I like that. But the uh, picture is still too crappy on those things. At the moment. But uh, I think they'll get that figured out eventually. That, that'll be the thing to have, man, for sure. Because you're still kind of trapped point of view style. So you're riding around on my bicycle like you're you know, a paraplegic, right? You're kind of stuck looking in the direction I put your head in. It's something, but it'd be a lot better if you could just look wherever you want. Here we go. This nice stuff, what is it? I can't read the signs, I don't know. What does that say? I don't know. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay. Flat ground in Hanoi with no buildings? Well, we're playing a sports then, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see here. Okay, okay. There he is. There's our revolutionary buddy. And this is where I'm turning, apparently. Okay, no problem. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay. The uh, Central Park-esque area of the town, if you will. Yeah, okay, okay. There we go. That's where I wanted to go, but I don't think it's happening. All right, well, hmm, okay. Um. There we go, all right. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not a big difference. Are you 
use this Porsche here to block traffic for me. Thank you, Mr. Porsche. Okay. All right. The tree line, the Pole Awal, you know. It is a very nice. This is definitely where the embassies are. These trees have been here a while, so you can tell this has been a very important little avenue for a very long time. Yeah, it's nice the traffic so like you can actually make it out, you know. See, this is, this is definitive. This is definitive. Hanoi, yeah, everyone, yeah, you've seen this before. You've seen this street before, whatever it's called. This is the one. Looks important. I don't know what that is? Let's see if I can make it the fancy lake. That's where McDonald's is. Where all the scenic stuff is found. Yeah, sure, while we're out here. Clever fruit. See that? That's the fruit store. Fruit store. Each fruit individually wrapped in the styrofoam patty patty stuff, wrapped in plastic. Like, you can't find a good chocolate bar, but you can find an imported apple from America. I bought one once. I was desperate. Four dollars for this apple. Four dollars. But that is special specialness. Including for me. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Maybe that's that water tower I've heard of? I know you can't see it yet, but we'll go past it. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay.
here we go. Here's our turn. Straight, oh shit, it's one way. Okay. So this is definitely an old quarter now, kind of the top of it, I think. How oh, you like that Vietnam out there? How oh, you like that Vietnam? I like that Vietnam. This is it, dude. A whole lot of this. And I mean a lot, lot. How do you like it? Oh boy. Amazing. Oh, this is, oh, dried fishes and stuff. Smell precedes it. Get your dried fishes, get your mushrooms. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get your. Hey, yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah, live fishes. There you go. Oh, boy. Little street side BBQing. Wash your pant leg. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys are getting, you guys are getting a treat today. You guys are getting a treat. S M I. Hey. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Got some, got some pork feet. We got your pork feet. Yeah, five types of eggs, different colors and sizes. Oh, chickens. Oh, boy, oh boy. Yeah, this is the way to do it. No problem, just stop. Just, you know, stop anywhere. Sorry. How about some flip flops? Got some flip flops. Hey, what's happening? You got your flip flops. Relax. Where the hell are we again? Oh, okay. That's um, 
it like this. Uh. West? Oh, crap. West? All right. That was a mistake. my way. <laughs> Honk all you want. I'm occupying space, sucker. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Them boys need bicycles. Bonjour, uh huh? Okay. I like that Vietnam. Oh, back there is where the cardboard boxes are. General purpose cardboard boxes. One little section of the street. Huang knew exactly where it was. So right about here is where the cardboard box places are. Okay. He was right. He was right. They're a buck and a half each. Big ones. Almost there. Great. Great, great, great. Fancy lakes over there. You get a look at it. Back into 
centered mode. I don't even know if the battery's still working. Whatever. Can you make it out somewhere? Oh, yeah, it's up there. This is, there's that, that one postcard shot of Hanoi is this very scenic, very nice uh, little uh, temple or something, little structure in the middle of this lake here. It probably goes back forever. You'll make it out soon enough, right over there. And it's the, the cover of every Hanoi picture table book. Let's go around this and then go home. That's what I'll do. I would love to stop for a Royale Deluxe, but, you know, maybe not. I don't have the lock with me, that's why I can't. All right. I'm in go mode. Oh, ladies working, they dancing. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Auntie Robics. Mr. Rat, you see, it's uh, you're the rat. Mr. Rat's out. He's optimistic. He's feeling good. He's got his ambitions. Things are gonna work out for him. It's gonna be good for rats. And a lot from a rat. Oh shit. Woo. Ha ha. There it is. There's the embassy. There's the embassy. McDonald's. I tell you, man, you, yeah, you scoff all you want. You come out here, you don't know what to eat or how to eat it, you'll be crying for it too. way so I can yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this town now. What a difference 15 degrees Fahrenheit will make. And a little bit of solar insulation. Just like Seattle. No REI though, I've been missing that REI. Anyway, that's, that's more Antarctica stuff. I can roll 100 for 100 to see if any of you guys are interested in that Antarctic crap. Nope. 57. They're not interested, Craig, in Antarctica crap. Okay, 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 I'll stop. Ah, see? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the, we got the tourists, we got the moms and dads, we got the aunts and uncles, we got the flowers. Oh, yeah. This is nice. I've never been over here. This is great. This is great. Okay. You can see why the the touristas are out here. This is the place to be. Get your knockoff. Maybe for real. I don't know. Backpack over there. We got oh Lateria. That's like the uh, that's the Korean McDonald's. It's all right. It's close. All right. You 
don't have the Big Mac, but they have the Big Star. It's as close as they can get before they get a call from the embassy. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is internationally known. Oh, people chilling outside. Oh. Makes that 40 bucks a night almost worth it. Not! But I can see why they go for it. You only get a week out here, you might as well do it in style. All right. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take a right turn at the embassy. And Mr. McDonald's embassy. And we're gonna go back out into that traffic and we're gonna go home. That's what we're gonna do. That's the master plan. Oh, so good to be back on this thing. Oh shit, sorry buddy. Sorry man. See that, you know, I, I slow down for him. He's like, what are you doing? No, really, go ahead. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep doing what you're already doing, Craig. They adjust to you. Right. See, I was just rude there. I was rude there by not steaming forward and making Uncle here react to what I was doing. See? <sighs> Moment to cultural. Oh, yeah. Cold chilling. That is nice. Ooh. I'll tell you what, that, that Royale Deluxe is calling me, though. I may have to put this away and uh, get on feet and turn right back around. I could use that Royale Deluxe. Not the chicken nuggets this time. Craig, we're not interested in your chicken nuggets. Okay, you're right. Sorry. I'm just working on my speaking skills. Dude, you you go for you go for a, a long time without being able to have a without being able to without having a conversation with someone in English like face to face. You go a few weeks like that. See what kind of troglodytic badger like creature you become. No joke, dude. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird mental place. Thank God for WhatsApp, that's all I'm saying. All right. Okay. Here we go. Got it. Oh, here you go. Big picture of Uncle Ho. Oh, shit. One way. God damn. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Things you don't notice when you're walking everywhere. Fancy malls. Oh, yeah.
think it's the hazy air, like there's no shadows. I get lost really easy. Mr. Compass here notwithstanding. Got my eyes on the dang road. Okay. Well, you guys got the grand tour today. As did I. This is great. stop. So ciao. Uh, next stop is the Temple of Literature, where I was before. Look around that, we're home. Fruit fly. I'm riding this answer box like you wouldn't believe. Are you making this out? There's, I guess not. We're looking the wrong way. There's a countdown clock on the red lights and the green lights, so you know exactly when it's time to go. You also know how long you have to wait. If they didn't do that. These folks wouldn't wait. They would just go anyway. So it's like, look, guys, only 20 seconds. Just, just don't gun it for 20 seconds. 19. 18, 17, ah, 15 more seconds, ah, and then for at two they go, but then you know, that's what it takes, that low trust traffic management, you know, you got to let them know, no, no, we're not going to screw you, this thing really works, see, the numbers are changing, you know, you're not going to be here forever, you don't have to gun it yet, I promise, I promise. Like when I'm riding in the taxi, I'll hold the money in my hand. Low trust taxi rider. I'm riding the taxi with the money in my hand so he can see the colors, so he knows I have the money, I'm not gonna rip them off. You see, I just I just absorb. I absorb the etiquette by osmosis, you know? Isn't that curious? It kind of soaks in. Show, don't tell. Show, don't tell. Show him that you're going to pay him when you get out. Show him. He didn't even ask, but it's impolite not to show anyway. Show, don't tell. It's the low trust way. I love this thing. This is why you paid all this money for this bike, Craig. For this right now. And the travel insurance, to be honest. <clears throat> yeah.
Hawk, I think. This would be the motorbike district, tire district. Okay. You got a tire for this? Absolutely. All right, I'm going over to see. Liar, you don't have that tire. Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, well, it was, you know, it was someone else. Got my brother, you know, I... screw you, man. Go to the next door. Do you have it? Show me. Show me the tire. Show me the tire. You don't? Next place. Show me the tire. Show me the tire. Show me. No. All right. See, that's how it is. 